they put their things down. What you need is an anything from smoothie for kids bottle. It has to be this because the lid size is perfect. A bouncy ball to act as a seal. It has to be roughly, it has to be a size that you can ram it in, but it won't, you'll never be able to get it in fully. But you can just ram in and throw it. It has to be baking soda. Bread soda works fine. Kitchen paper. Toilet paper works as well. Um, any type of paper, really, except paper. <laughs> Lol, any paper except paper. If you want to make it a stink bomb, that's just for making a bomb or like a, uh, a launcher. If you want to make it a stink bomb, you need liquid ass. Get this on Amazon for about five or something like that. And last but not least, vinegar. Okay, to make it, open your vinegar. You get a decent bit into the bottle. Sorry, this might take a bit. If you get bored, just fast forward. But make sure you get the bit where I tell you how much. Because that's important. Um, while we're doing, while I'm doing this, uh, we have other videos as well on how to make, like I have a Lego like, shredder, uh, if I get enough if, sub, uh, subs, not, not subs, if I get enough likes on any video or comments, I might, um, actually put a tutorial on one of them. Um, I have another channel that I have Lego videos on, it's my sister's channel, it's called The Pea of the Sea. That's T H E P E A O F T H E S E A. I have cool Lego um, animations on that. Okay, that's about right. You need about that much. That's the bottle. That's how much you need, basically. There. This is the tricky part because you need about you need a good bit of timing here. Oh, you don't need a good bit, but you need a bit. You need you get. One, one piece of kitchen cloth, I've written mine, but anyway. Okay, you lay it flat. Don't worry, I am putting it on the ground. The camera just can't reach there. Look, it's there. It's there. Oops. Okay. Um, sorry if you see a cutscene, but except uh, I moved the camera too much, so it actually stopped. Lol. Anyway, um, so you have your vinegar bottle, and so this is when you, this is when the baking soda comes in. Open your baking soda. If you have a middle spoon, which is, um, there's two things I can clean it off, um, this thing, it has a half mil section, which is this side, and it has a, a five mil, wait, is that half mil? No, sorry, this size is 2.5, sorry, <coughs> this size is five mil. What you want to do is get one side of the five mil and scrape it along the side so you get precisely five mils, which is like that. You might want to use a bread knife, but I'm beast, so. And then you put it dead center, kitchen foil. You can shorten the you can shorten the kitchen roll, which makes it a lot easier to pack. Well, it actually doesn't. But anyway, moving on. Um, I'm not gonna shorten mine that much. And then, wanna wanna make it like a fajita or something? Fold the top over, fold across, fold back across, and then wrap. You wanna make it a torpedo so it can still fit into the bottle. You might want to fold it over again, but make sure to leave a little flap that you can fold over the edge. I haven't done this, so... Um, toilet, uh, kitchen foil doesn't work at all. You need, um, toilet paper. So you get four sheets of toilet paper, rip it in half, then make two, get two in a line. Um, the, to the kitchen roll doesn't work very well. It's too thick and it's too clunky, it's not maneuverable enough. Um, you don't need liquid ass to do this. Uh, if you want, you can actually make it a freshening bomb by putting in a um, mouthwash, which I have over here. I was gonna do it, but oh, that would suck. Anyway, um, okay, I'll just flatten that out. Don't do it like a pizza this time. Fold this side, then the other side, 
back over it, like that. Look, I'll actually raise it a bit. So look, you get it like this, then you fold it like that. So it's like that. Then fold it back over the other way. And then fold up the other two sides. You may want to hold it with um, sellotape or duct tape, but I didn't. And then, don't drop it into the, the baking soda yet. Because this is where it gets a bit tricky. You fold a small flap over the edge. Damn, this might not work. Okay, you get your liquid ass, and if you don't have any liquid ass, just skip this bit. Look, you get your liquid ass, take off the cap, put in one or two sprays. Get your bouncy ball, put it over really quick. Okay, this is the bomb. Next scene, I'll be firing it. We'll throw it. Look, here it is. Okay, how you want how you fire it? You push the ball in really hard so it's, there's no, so there's no, um, so it's full, fully sealed. Upside down, shake, 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 shake. Okay, notice it starts to fizz. Ah! Ew, that stinks. Um, it'll work better if you don't hold it. Thanks, man. Um, anyway, uh, I'll make a different one. But I'll put air freshener. Not air freshener. Yeah, actually air freshener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I won't. I'll put in breath freshener. I've had a brainstorm. What if we make it a gun out of it? Because that actually fired pretty decently. Why don't, like, instead of doing the breath fashion, that's just instead of the, 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 the liquid ass. And you know how to do it, you can just replay because it it's YouTube. Anyway, um, I want to see how far this thing can fire. Okay, even though I'm making a gun, I'm still going to put the breath freshener in. I'm going to fire at the camera. I'm just going to show you the filling process again. So you get your bottle with the vinegar. You can put the stuff in. Oh, damn it, I forgot the bouncy ball. Uh... I'm gonna take two seconds to get the bouncy ball. Don't time me. Okay, two seconds. Stop, man up. Don't go. It's probably pretty cool. Okay. I'm back. Okay. I'm gonna put breath freshener in for the lulls. This breath freshener, just to show you, it's perfectly good. Yum. That's a, give it a really nice smell for the enemies. Oh god, it's just a liquid ass. Anyway. Okay, remember, got a really good seal. Whoa, that went in miles too far. Oh, anyway. Remember. Pretty damn awesome. Please watch more Squidgy Cake videos and subscribe.